start. Hi guys, we're just about to start. Sorry it's a bit of a delay, but you know how things happen and one thing after another happens. But we are here now and we're painting this gorgeous painting today. We've moved from that side of the room to this side of the room, which is one of the reasons we're a little bit late. But anyway, never mind. And I've got proper lighting and everything's happening. So it's all very exciting. And um, we're painting this gorgeous painting today. Oh, it's got a bit of paint on it. I don't know how that's happened. That's why I'm when I've been setting my paint out. Anyway, never mind. There we go. We're painting this gorgeous painting today. I do need a blank canvas to paint on them. Thank you, my lovely assistant. There we go. Right, what you need, guys, you need water, paint, two blues, two yellows, one black, one white, only one red today because it's a very pinky red, it's like a scarlet red. Doesn't matter what red you've got, but you know, you just really need one. Um, and preferably a scarlet colour. Now they call it all different colours, it depends on the make of paint. So it's very difficult to say you need primary red, you need vermilion, you need um, alizarian crimson. It's very hard. You need a purpley red, a crimsony red to, uh, to use to get this effect of the very pink blossom. You need three brushes, big brush, middle brush, little brush. And today you really need a sponge. So run and get one from somewhere. Um, the sponge, better with big holes in it than little holes, but you just need a sponge and we're just going to sponge on the uh, blossom really use quick. tissue in kitchen Really easy. Yes, we, I'll show you how to use a kitchen roll or even just a bit of old fabric. Right, you also need a cloth to clean your brushes on, or kitchen roll, or toilet paper, but we all know how dodgy it is trying to get hold of any toilet paper at the moment. Right, we'll get going. Oh, I need my painty shirt. You also need a painty shirt or a pinny, an apron to wear, just to save your clothes, because you don't want to get paint on your clothes, nothing worse. Lovely. Lovely old painty shirt. I can't find my proper painty shirt, so I've had to borrow this painty shirt from uh, my painty shirt bag. Not everyone has a painty shirt bag, but I do. Right, is everybody ready to go? If you need me to slow down, put a sad face, and if you're ready to go, put a thumbs up. How are we doing, Amber? Yeah, good. We've got 55 people watching, so I'll wait to see if anyone puts any thumbs up and I'll let you know. Okay. Well, you don't need a fabulous canvas to paint on. You can just paint on a lump of cardboard that you've painted white, or anything hard, lump of hardboard, bit of wood that you've painted white, anything. You need to paint it white so you've got a good surface to paint on, but that's the only criteria, really. If you've got any... Thick white paper, you can paint on that, but it does need to be thick because it'll get all soggy and red. People are still getting ready. I imagine people will be running around frantically looking for sponges as we speak. Yes, probably. Uh, Gemma's asked, how are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you, Gemma. How are you? I'm glad she's watching. I don't think she's painting today, and I don't think Robin's even painting either. This isn't one so much for the children. This is more a grown-ups one, as is tomorrow night. <laughs> now tomorrow night's a really grown up swan, it's a naked man. I am going to cover his bottom I think with a bit of a bit of fabric but you know and he isn't really going to be here it is just going to be in my imagination. Long time since I've, oh no anyway never mind enough of that. So there we go, blank canvas and we're ready to go. How are we doing Amber on the thumbs up? Yeah we've got quite a few thumbs up coming now just start. Yeah, just Do you reckon yeah, we can just so, start? Yeah. Okay, what Oh, no, wait, hold on. Gemma has said that there's people who are still trying to find the video. Probably because we were a little bit late. Oh. So maybe we could just wait for a moment. Yeah, 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 of course. Why can't they find the video? Don't you just...
think it's just to go on the Facebook page. But just because we were a bit late, probably. Oh, and they might have been looking and it didn't come up. Okay. I want, I'm desperate to get going. I'm, I'm sort of itching to paint here, guys. I think you need to hurry up. Uh, behind us, we've got some paintings. This is one of the paintings we're doing next week. Now, if I, if I keep making funny faces, it's because I've pulled a muscle and it hurts sometimes when I move. And I never know quite when it's going to happen. Right, this is the one we're doing next week. It's a hippie happy hair, as you can see. Um, it's very skirt. Uh, rather than a rabbit, we're doing a hair. Um, it's got huge, gorgeous eyes, lovely eyelashes. And look at these ears. He's fab. So if you want to join in with him, we're doing him next week. We're also doing a children's painting of a chick in an, in a, um, in an egg. I'm just letting the dog out now. So it's a chick in half an egg, um, which is rather cute. If you have a look on Facebook, you'll see it on there. And um, yeah, it looks nice. I think it's worth doing. Very child friendly, perfect for young ones to do for Easter. And they could give it to their grandparents or something like that. And that everyone should have them on the wall. Everyone should have an Easter bunny on the wall. An Easter chick on the wall. A bit like crying lady in the 70s. Everyone needs one. Okay, how are we doing, Jem? Uh, Amber? Yeah, get going. Should we get going? Um, someone's asked if it'll be on YouTube. Yes, we're planning on putting everything on YouTube so you can do it at a later date. If I go too fast, you can re-watch it um, on YouTube after we've finished. This is a live stream, so if you've got any questions or anything you want me to slow down, do just get in touch and let me know. If you want to shout out, do get in touch um, and I shall try to accommodate that. Uh, and it will be going on YouTube afterwards, so if you get lost or, or you don't want to do it now, you can do it any time. We're doing the one we're doing tomorrow, we're starting at 7 o'clock because we're planning on drinking wine too, which is always fun and makes your painting so much better. It makes it bold and free and, and just better, I think. It, a little bit of alcohol helps with the painting. Right, I'm going to start, okay? Right, what we're going to do is we're going to put the background in first. So we want a bit of blue up here, green round here, and we're just going to sketch in this path. Now, as you can see, the path looks like it's going into the distance. So you need to follow me on the path, do what I do, and you'll get that effect of it sort of going round the corner, which is what we're looking for. You want your little brush and as always i would suggest you do this in yellow i'm going to do it in blue so you can see what i'm doing but i would suggest you do it in yellow now you want to come about about a third up your canvas it's normally always a third because there's something about thirds and composition just works really well so that's about a third up your canvas and then we're just going to oh and what's that there, that is about half. So we'll just half your canvas here as well. We don't need to do the whole big lines on. Um, yeah. And we're going to go like this. Down to there. So in from there and round. Sort of like that. I went a bit wrong the first time. I like it better the second time. So I prefer that second arc. So you just do this in yellow, guys. I'm doing it in blue so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to come from that point again, out and round to there. Like that. Now it's everything we're going to do to this path that's going to make it look like it's sloping off into the distance. That's all you're doing. This line and this line, that was a bit of a mistake. Happens, happens to a thorn. And I'm just gonna rub it out. There we go. Gone. Gone, but not forgotten. Got a bit of a trace of it there, that's okay. We're gonna cover that all in green anyway, so it's not a problem. Never worry if you do something wrong, guys. It's, you can fix anything with acrylic paint. You can paint white over black, it's not a problem. You can't do anything wrong. 
Okay, I'm now going to get a bit of my darker blue. If you only got one blue, just use that blue. Doesn't really matter. I just quite like this blue for the sky. So I put a little bit of white in. I'm not mixing it too much because I want the difference in colour. If you see my brush, I've got blue and sort of white on there because I want that sort of difference. And I'm just going to slap that on in this corner. Bit of water. And I'm just slapping it on in that corner. I'm going to do, if you've got a stretched canvas, guys, do the top and the, the side there as well and then you can hang it up without worrying about framing it. So I'm just doing that there for where there's going to be little gaps in the uh, I am going to show you all how to make a canvas out of cardboard. I know I keep saying uh, that. An easel. An easel out of cardboard. And a canvas, actually. Out of cardboard. I know I keep saying that and not actually doing it, but I am going to do it at some point. I've just been really busy. Jamie's not painting today. This is a bit more of a grown-ups one. Kids are welcome to do it if they want, but I think this is a bit more... I think the dog would like to be let back in. <laughs> yes, I'm going to let her in. I'm just putting a bit of white on there as well. Don't worry about it. You just smudge it on if you want to. I'll just let the dog in there. <laughs> Come on. Hello. There we go. Oh, she's gone. Like a flash. Noisy old house, this. Right, we're going to make some green now. For this, I'll get your middle brush. And I'm going to use a bit of my lighter yellow. If you've only got one yellow, use that one. A bit of blue. I'm going to use my darker blue. And I'm going to make a bit of green. Now, that is going to be my middle green. I'm going to want a darker green. So I'm going to make a bit more of that. That's going to be my middle green. I'm going to make a much darker green. I'm going to move a bit of green over here and a bit more blue. Oh, you see what a messy palette I've got. Oh dear, I'm such a mess. So I've got a really dark green and middle green. And I am going to make a lighter green. So Could you like put it just closer to the camera so everyone can see what the colour is you've made? Yeah. And I'm going to make a lighter green. Just with a bit of yellow and a little touch of white. So I've got three distinct greens. I have got a dark green, a middle green and a light green. So you mix any blue and yellow to get green. Mix more, take a bit of the middle green out, mix it with a bit of dark blue, a bit of the middle green out, and mix it with yellow and a little bit of white, and you've got three greens. Now, if you scrunch your eyes up and look at anything in your room, you'll see it's three colours. If you look, um, what can we look at? Well, there's nothing that isn't patterned. Hold on. If you look at this other painty shirt, you'll see it's a dark blue, there's a darker shade of blue, a middle blue and a lighter blue. If you make the three blues, you'll always be able to get the shape and the folds and everything right and the highlights. So that's, that's what we've done with the greens. We've got a darker green, a mid green and a lighter green. I'm going to go with my mid green. Oh my gosh, the baby. Oh, we've had a conundrum. Okay, hold on. I'm not sure what happened there. Sorry. We're back. Oh, good phone is intact. Okay, I'm going to get some middle green, bit of water, oh. and I'm just going to splash it on up there. Like that. There we go. I'm going to get middle green and darker green. I'm going to put it, make it a bit darker on this side. Oh my gosh, sorry. Oh, I don't know what's happening. I bet you're not seeing any of this. 
They're seeing it there, there, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm putting a bit of the darker green there, the middle green there. We're going to put other colours on in a minute. We're going to sort it all out. I'm going to put a bit of the middle green with a touch of the lighter green over here. We're going to really lighten that up later. And I'm going to stick some of the darker green just coming around there like that. So I've just played on with the greens really. We're going to mess on, we're going to put some trees on in a minute. Just put a little bit of the yellow in here and there just to really brighten up some bits of it, but we'll do that again later, so don't worry. Velcro is definitely a better idea. Right, okay. People are still mixing their greens, so I'll just sort this out. Okay. While you mix, we'll sort it out, go back to the Velcro. Let's buy a, a knee. Uh, uh, yeah, people are still uh, just a bit behind from mixing. You sure that's okay? Mm -hmm. We don't want to keep falling on the floor. It must be very disorientating if you're watching and you keep zooming onto the floor. Um, also, does this work better in landscape people or do you prefer it in portrait? We just went for a change today and decided to do it landscape because we thought that would be better on uh, people's lap laptops. Up it's better landscape. Sad face if it's better portrait. I think you can probably see more landscape, I don't know. I probably look fatter landscape, which you know isn't the best feeling in the world, but there we go. So you want a darker green, a middle green, and a light green. And we're gonna make a much, much darker green later for the around the trees, but we'll do that in a second. People are saying I think landscape's better. I suppose okay. it just depends if you're watching it on a phone or a laptop. Yeah. Okay. We all ready? I'm gonna clean my brush. And dry it. And I'm going to make a bit of a murky grey. I'm going to get a bit of my white, move it over here. And I don't think, I'm not going to put pure black in, I'm going to put a bit of blue and a bit of red and a bit of black, I'm gonna mix that up. Now I've got like a funny old mixture of black. It's not a pure black, you see, it's sort of a murky mixture. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of that into my white. And I'm gonna get like, it's a greyish colour, but it's like a purpley grey colour, it's not quite as dead. Normal black is a bit of a dead colour, so that's a little bit better. Can you see that? Can you see that colour? 
Right, I'm going to put a bit more water on my brush because I want it quite fluid and I'm just going to swoop up here with this funny grey I've made. Quite wet. We're going to put loads of other colours over the top of here so we can just put this on almost like a wash. Bit, oh, this is the boring bit. Could you slow bit. down a little bit, Mum? Yeah. There we are. So we made a murky. We made a murky grey with um, a bit of blue, a bit of red, and a bit of black. Mixed it with quite a lot of white to get a murky grey colour. And I've just splodged it on there. I'm coming round to have a look and see what you can all see. Oh, that's better, isn't it, the landscape? I think that is better. Yeah, you get better perspective of everything. I'm going to move my, from, if you get a bit of distance from your painting, you can see where you might have done things not quite the way you want them. I'm going to move that further over there like that. So I'm just going to splodge a bit of those colours on. idea guys every now and then stand back from your painting have a look at it from a distance and you can see if you've gone wrong in any places and you can just change it because it's acrylics and acrylics are really really good for that you can just paint over them you can mess around with them oh we've had a comment saying it's a bit hard to see it or with all the different paintings behind it maybe they're sort of oh should i move them clashing slightly potentially yeah maybe, maybe. We were trying to block the light, really. I don't know, how does that work, guys? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Do you need to have a close-up of the painting? Maybe? Yeah, should we have a close-up? Yeah, I'll bring it round. And I'll talk you through what we've done. Oh, well, I'll have a paintbrush to point. I feel like a real teacher mm. now. Right, so you've got your sky up here. You've got a mix of your greens here. We've got darker green. We've got bits of lighter green. We're going to mess on with this later, guys, so don't worry about it. Um, we're going to put our tree in in a minute, our trees. So, yeah, we're, we're doing well, aren't we? And we've got our, um, our lovely path going off into the distance, quite wide here, going off into, a, disappearing off into the distance. We're going to hide that all with trees in a minute. Um, yeah, fab. And it's a, like a murky grey. We're going to put loads of other colours on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my white. And while this is still wet, I'm just going to lighten up the middle of my path. So I've just put the white on while the grey is still a little bit wet. Now 
Now, all the adults watching, would you rather do this round about this time? Would you rather do it in the afternoon? Would you rather do this at night time? We don't know. We're experimenting. We haven't been doing it very long, so let us know. A little bit earlier, later, or about this time, what would suit you best? You might all be cooking dinner at this time. It might be a bit tricky for you. Mm. But later, you might all be stuck into your wine. Well, is that a bad thing? Mm. A bit earlier, you might all be looking after the kids. I mean, I don't know. So let me know, guys, what's best for you. We've got some kids, I think, still doing it today, oh, still joining in. Good, good, good. This is a good one as well. If you're a bit of an older child, perhaps like a teenager, doing this kind of thing with your mom might be good as well, your dad. Yeah, absolutely. Have we got any shout outs or are we all too busy painting? I think everyone's too busy painting. You're good. We've got someone saying that they prefer it earlier in the day, which makes sense. Yeah. Just let me know, guys, and I'll just I'll just tell you it all up, and we'll go with whatever's the most popular. But of course, you can just watch it on YouTube, hopefully, and do it any time you like. We've already got that sorted. That we've got uh, the owl on. Yes. Harry Potter owl on there. And we will be putting this one on straight away when we finish tonight. need a drink myself in a minute. Oh, shall, we, shall I make a drink for you? Sorry. Yes, that would be nice. What, do, what would you like? I'd like an elderflower cordial, thank you. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, we've got a lot of people saying... Oh, we've got a bit of a... It's a mixed bag. We've got one person saying a bit earlier. Someone else saying... Um, that this is good. And because people have finished their work working from home, so... That yes. does make sense. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we've got Molly painting today. Oh, and Megan, who is 12. I want to know if Joan's painting after I rushed to get her her, her painting pack. Is Joan painting? Come on, Joan, are you painting? Well, she might not be wanting to comment. She might not. <laughs> and Laura? Yes. Laura, we rushed to get her painting pack because she got engaged in a cherry blossom orchard. How beautiful. How beautiful is that? Guys, if you're all ready, we're going to make a bit of brown. I'm going to get a, uh, a mix plate or palette as I like to call it. Um, I think we've only been putting one in the pack so we should we put in two or three and um, it just makes it easier because as you can see my palette is already very dirty. Okay I'm going to make a bit of brown. We're going to get our middle brush. Yeah Laura's painting. What about Joan? <laughs> We've got Leah and Ethan who are aged 9 and 11, so we've got some sort of like, we've got older kids painting today, which is nice. Because sometimes maybe bunnies and things are too What too about childish. the hair next week? That'll be a good one for older children, won't it? Mm. Right, I'm actually going to make a bit of orange. I'm going to do it on my clean plate. I'm going to get a bit of yellow because you always mix your darker colour into your lighter colour. Tiny bit of red nice orange and you all see my orange and I'm going to put a tiny smidgen of black in because you can put this colour in but you can't take it out so um, could smidgen. you bring it over just to the camera so we can see what they're sort of aiming for is there any way you could put it like right up right guys you can you see that's gone a bit you, what you do is you do it as you're doing it different paints are different that's gone a bit greeny, so I'm actually going to put a little bit more red into that. Mum, that was my cordial. Oh, lovely, thank you. And then I'm going to add 
actually put, that looks, yeah, so just mess on with it till you get it the sort of brown you want it to be. <clears throat> I'm putting a bit more yellow in. Louise Stanfield has asked how you got into tiddly painting. Uh, uh, oh, well, I'm an artist anyway. Studied at Central St. Martin's quite a few years ago. Mm. I'd just like to drop that in. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, became an art teacher to try and make some money. Just like to drop that in too. Um, didn't really like working in schools. Was doing some research and discovered the tiddly, tiddly artist? No, um, tipsy. Tipsy, tipsy artist in America. Watched her and thought, oh, I could do that. I'd be good at that. So just started doing it and really love it. Right, so I've made a brown. We're gonna do this, actually, shall we do the same thing now? We'll just use this brown. So I've got a, a mid brown. I'm gonna keep with my middle brush, but I'm gonna use the edge of my brush. I'll come and a bit closer. I'm going to stick a tree in here and just wet it a bit. I'm going to go in with different colours and darken this up a bit. I'm going to have another tree sort of coming from there and scooping round. Ooh. I'm going to have, yeah, like that, another tree there. I'm just sort of sketching in where I'm going to have my trees. I don't like this brown. Just darken it up later. Yes, looks a bit pooey. <laughs> right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna have to one, two, three. It doesn't matter how many you have, but you want them getting a little bit smaller as as they go into the distance. I'm just marking out roughly where they're gonna go bit more water. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to start this one here and I'm going to go right up to there. I'm going to have another one there and then I'm going to have lots merging into each other sort of there like that. I'm going to go in with different colours and sort them all out in a minute. So you're just splodging around I'll guys. Hold that there. Very orangey that brown. Let me a bit more black. Yes. Or blue. Would blue work. I prefer black. Just wondering, because it's interesting how you make a brown, isn't it? Yes. Well, I think different people have different ways. It's just that's my way. I like to make an orange first and then splodge some brown in. There. Uh, some black in. Of course you could just use burned umber if you've got any. I'm making a very dark brown now. Because I want this for the uh, where there's no light. Right, I'm going to bring this back now. Right, I'm going in with my small brush now. Got the darker brown. What? You, how did you make that? Sorry, just. I just put a wee bit more black in. I think people will probably still be doing the trees. Should we see? If we okay. do the thumbs up again and. Okay. Oh, caught it that time. Oh God! You can't get the staff. I should stand back from the painting, shouldn't I? I'm just going to darken my trees up because this is a... a bit too orange. A bit too orange. People, yeah, people are still just marking out where their trees are going to be. That's okay. Go back 
back to the left side because we've got some masking. You can see the the left side because it is a bit more confusing there. Should I put go over with dark so that you yeah. can? Put, might be easier if you start up here actually. One, two, three. And then that one's going to sort of come in front of them all. We'll, we'll sort them out in a minute, guys. Don't worry about it. What it is, is just a, a big merge of trees. I don't know if that's quite the right word. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. So how did you darken that brown? Just... just put a wee bit more black in, just to darken it down a bit. I'm going to put lighter in anyway, so I'm going to leave some of that, that orange showing. Bit of water. And I'm going to just slope off a bit like that and perhaps a bit like that. Oh. Fab. I'll go back and pop it on the stand now. And let people get up to there. a bit dodgy. As does mine. <laughs> they will come good. As you know by now, if you've done a few with me, you just keep working on them till you sell them. Wonky there. Oh, no. I'm going to go back into the left because I think people are confused by the, um, yes. the shapes there. Shall I go in with a bit of dark and show them more distinctly? Hold on. This is what we're going to end up with, guys. I'll just go in with a bit of black and show you. This is going to be one tree here. And we're going to have the, the light is coming from the other side. So that's one tree. This is another tree. Yeah, they're overlapping, so it's tricky to see the details. Yeah, once we go in with a bit of light, it'll all become clearer. We might even stick a bit more green in between them. We haven't put the very front one in yet, so. What's this here? Very front one. So we're going to have a little bit of a gap there just to... And we're going to have a bit of that going out. Does, uh, is everyone else to add this black or is this just you showing people? Uh, I'm just showing people. We're, we're going to go around them all with a bit of black in a minute. Alright, I'll pop it back on the uh, stand there. It's just the angle that you're looking at it that it is a bit confused. It'll all come good with the blossom. Just as long as there's a bit of brown there, really. Yeah.
what we're having is the light is coming down from here. So we're going to pretend that the sun is up there. So it's coming down. It's going to be hitting these trees. The light is going to be there on these trees. And it's going to be there on these trees. So the dark is going to be on that side, on these trees, and on that side, on those trees. So, the, you know, it's all going to work out. Right, you want to get your little brush and some black. And we're just going to mark off a little bit more detail. So go up this side of your trees. with the dark. If anyone's a bit lost at any point, just say. We can go over stuff again, can't we? Mm-hmm. Although I think people probably uh, know the drill by now. These trees will come good in a minute and you'll see what's happening when we we'll put the light on. So we'll just rest for a minute down when we've got this green and our hair black on. Yeah, don't worry about it guys, it'll all come together. She said with great optimism. Hmm. my uh, big brush and a bit of my green, my darker green. And I'm just going to darken up here in between these trees a bit higher. Oh, Joan. She's commented. Oh, is she there? She missed the start and she's going to catch up on YouTube, I think. Oh, no. So keep, Joan, keep an eye on the dashed, page. We dashed to get you it on time and you haven't caught yeah. it. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm very disappointed now. <laughs> we'll put the link on the page. So that'll be up by tonight, won't it? We'll try and get it on. We'll try and put it on YouTube tonight, and then we will link the um, we'll link the the video on the page, so you can just click straight onto that link and find it. It'll be quite easy, won't it? Super easy. Oh, I can't believe jo John wasn't with us from the beginning. I'm, I'm shocked and disappointed. <laughs> Apparently people are finding it a bit difficult to see the colours. Oh. I think the light is hard. Is that, people are saying, is that green in the middle? Where? That you put in between the, the branches. Yes, I've just put a bit of the, the green, just, um, do you need to come in? Do we need to come in with the, uh... I don't really think, I think the colour is just because of the lighting here. Hold on, I'll bring the... Is the lighting not very good now? It's just getting dark, isn't it? We need to get a big, uh, the bulb in here is not very bright. We need to get a... Uh... Oh, I'll tell you what. What about... So, yeah, it's a sort of greeny colour. It's a bit murky, a bit washed just out. Just a murky green. Just, we're going to put branches and stuff in there. So, I don't think it's going to... And some nice. yellow and it's going to brighten it all up. Apparently it was better with the pictures at the window, someone else is saying. Oh. Because of the light from outside. If we yes. Is that any better, guys? I'll try the pictures again. 
potentially we could block out the outside light, couldn't we, with something? Yes. Maybe. There's a sheet there we could use, like a blanket. Yeah, let's see what this is like. Is that any better? Oh, Joan's still trying to catch up. You can tell her what you've done. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Is that better? Ah, so if you have them backwards, yeah, that... Is that better? Technical much? difficulties, you know how it is when you... Um, what do we think, guys? I'll move it back and see what people say. Is that a bit brighter? I think it's hard because it is... Oh, well, you see, this is new. You see, it's all new to us. We need to get a proper... Uh, Let me come and have light. a look. That's better, I believe. Slightly. Oh, it's not very good, is it? Can we move this? Let's move this stand closer as well. We'll be back at painting in just a second. <laughs> and, the and then we can put that, that painting on the back window. And put that on that table. All a bit of a nightmare. Oh. Try that, is that better? It's going to have to be, isn't it? We've not got... I'll have to do for now. We'll figure out a better situation for next time. Yeah, I think that's better. A lot closer like that. We could put that painting... Is it there that the lights... Ah! Is that better? I think that was better. Mm. Well, perhaps we should get a daylight bulb rather than a halogen bulb. We'll just experiment on you all. <laughs> Is that better? Is it any better like that? I think we should move it in a bit further. Right. Do, won't it? I don't think you can do any more. You don't want the light behind the painting. For outside light. We could we could um oh. well we'll we'll find a better setup for next time. Um oh yeah because um we can see what's happening we're next. doing it tomorrow. Um I think that'll be fine. Yeah just like to carry on. Okay we've got thumbs up. Oh Okay, guys, we're getting it ready for the fun bit now. <laughs> you want your sponge? And some of your red. Get that on your sponge. And then we're just going to... I love this bit. <laughs> so just splodge it like that. Isn't it great? Yes. Don't want too much in the middle because we're going to go for a sort of lighter bit in the middle. So think where you want it a bit darker. And is this just with the red? And this is just with the red. If you've got the crimsony red, just with the crimsony red at the minute. And we sort of wanted a bit darker around here. I'm going to go right up there, over the sky, and I'm just splodging it on. I'm going to come down here, right down here, and right down to there. So you see those trees are all going to be covered anyway. So just splodging it on with your sponge, 
I'm going to put a little bit of darker blue in, not very much, to make a purpley colour. Just where for I, I wanted very dark. I'm going to put a little bit up here, not too much, because we're going to go in there with a lighter pink in a minute. And um, we're going to make a lighter. But you're just splodging away for now, guys. Isn't that great fun? Who remembers sponging walls? It's just like that. What sponging walls? And um, it was a paint technique that everyone did on the walls. I think it was the 80s. You sponged paint on your walls and you got this lovely mottly effect on your walls. It was great. I loved it. That looks good. Not yet. But it will. I think it does. I love this painting. It's such good fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. And it's nice because it, it's nice because it's spring. So it's, you know, you're starting to see the blossoms. Yeah. I mean, if you ever get out, um, obviously. We've got that blossom tree. In our we have got a blossom tree. We're very lucky. Yeah, so just splodge it like that. Leave it some gaps up there, guys, because we're going to put pink on, um, the pink on, and then the white over the top. But I wanted sort of up to there a bit with the darker. We're going to put some branches on. We're going to put some splodges on the path. Oh, look, I've got a drift going all the way down. Do I care? No. You can't do anything wrong, guys. It's just different and different is good. Right, I'm going to leave you all splodging. I've inspired my assistants to paint now. They're both painting. There's some spare sponges out there if you want. <laughs> I've got a great big dollop of paint on there. Totally by accident. I'm going to leave it because I quite like it. Oh, Mum, not to steal your thunder, but I've got a question about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Louise Stanfield asked what I do. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm currently doing a, well, not at the minute, obviously, because everything's closed, but um, I was doing a foundation course in textiles and I'm going to Leeds next year to do um, do surface pattern design. So she's going to make money at art. It's unusual. Fun. It's easy. Take after my mum. All right, let me know how you're all doing, guys. Once, guys, once you're up to date, give me some thumbs up. They're it's all much brighter on, now. Is it better? Yeah, I think so. You just turn the, uh, just turn it a little bit. Cause it's, yeah, that's better. It's casting a bit of shadow. That's better. Is that better? Yeah. Let me have a look. Just wait, you'll see. Uh -oh. Yes, that is better. We'll but get it. We'll we'll work on it for tomorrow night. Um, we'll get it well, better for maybe tomorrow want night. Maybe it to be a little bit moody and dark. Well, it depends how much I drink, darling. All the lights up. Yeah, we've got some thumbs up. I think people are getting there. Yeah. Yeah, on their way. Shade on the cat. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a traumatic evening, the cat. Okay, we are now going to put a bit of our red into our white and we're going to make a pinky colour. Oh, Eva Rainsford said it's, this is so fun. Oh, good! I'm glad someone's having a good time.
and then I'm just going to splodge over the top with the pink. So just keep going with your pink. I'm going to cover up some of these trees. I'm going to go down there. asking about music it's just um we found it on youtube it's just non-copyright music but it's better than no music we thought well the people that were here when was it after the what price oh we did the um the first one we did it was, was last the... week it was last week we got done for copyrights of music which we didn't know would happen i was aware of copyright of art but not aware of copyright of music so we have, we've, we've had to sort of go with this. What is it, Amber? You know. It's you just do. copyright free music that's just accessed, can be accessed by anyone. It's not owned by anyone, I think. So it's better than nothing. We did get some offers from some friends to use their music. But and not that it's not good music, it is good music. It's just. It's easier to just leave the playlist on than kind of surfing through stuff. Because it's yeah, multitasking. Oh no, the friends who offered their music. Uh -huh. The music's good, but really not not suitable for this because it's a bit rocky. Some of it, and some of it's a bit bagpipey, and some of it's a bit. You don't want to take focus off the uh, painting, I guess. Right, I'm going to go over that with a bit of white in a minute. So just splodge around, have fun. That's, you've got the darker pink on there and the lighter pink on, well you've got the, the red on there and then I've gone over with a bit of pink. We're going to go over with some white in a minute and just sort of finish it off. Um, some more light and shade on them and we've got a lot of work to do in the path I think we're going to just sort of like let that dry for a bit and then we shall return I might have to get a glass of wine in a minute guys it's uh, wine o'clock it is wine o'clock now I'm not splodging as hard because I want the funny little marks above the sponge so really you do want a sponge with quite a lot of holes in like a natural sponge you don't need a natural sponge you just need one of those pretending natural sponges to be honest I'm going to stick a little bit of blossom on that branch that's coming right out there now, do I want to lose that much of my path? No, I don't. So, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to look for my path colour.
Here's it, guys. from the painting this is the problem here what are you doing now hold on hold on hold on oh it's just i made a mistake ah. i'm gonna put a branch going up there and a one from there maybe when I come to do the branches so don't worry about it oh joan's catching up do you want to go through everything that's that's happened so far, so that... Right, we did the sky, we did the green, then we did the trees, and then the path. Just with a murky grey. I need to get a bit of distance from my painting. I'm going to come right back and have a look at it. Yeah, that'll be fine. It's lovely. I love blossoms. Well, we ready? Up again. Bit of an advert there. We should be really being paid, shouldn't we? Oh, guys, if anyone wants to just donate a little bit of money, that would be fabulous. We've got a link on our page. It's just, I've you just know. I've got a link on this on the actual live stream as well. There should be one at the top of the live stream. But. We're just a small business trying to keep our heads above water. We normally do this in pubs and wine bars, which is great fun. But obviously we can't at the moment. So anything will do, just as much as you can handle. If everyone gave me two quid, I'd be laughing. And Gemma said, or even PayPal. Oh, yeah. How do we do that, Jim Jams? Well, if you've been to one of the sessions before and you've paid via PayPal, then um, it'll still be on your PayPal, won't it? Oh, right. But we could put a link to your PayPal on as well if that's easier. What are we doing now then? I'm just waiting for everyone to catch up. Thumbs up when you're there, guys. Look at this music. Yeah, should we get something a little bit more blossomy? A bit club. Esque, isn't it? Club centric, I feel. Oh, we've got some thumbs up. Come on, more thumbs, more thumbs, guys. Once you're there, give me a thumb up. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Is everyone enjoying it? Lots of thumbs up. Oh, we're getting lots of hearts. What does that mean? We've not made a meaning for that. That's just an obscure one. Does that mean I'm oh, popular? So I've, I've always wanted to be popular, guys. Make me popular. It's a lot of love. Right. Now, I've managed to get away from my painting, which is difficult at the moment. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move it a bit, guys. Oh, Gemma's popped a link to your PayPal in the uh, comments. Oh, um, thank you, darling. Now, Gemma's my other assistant. She's my niece, so I like to keep it in the family. But what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a little work on these trees. I'm going in with black for the darker shade and I'm just sloping out some bits. I'm gonna have that belonging to that tree. 
So just follow me, guys. Joan, I think you're going to have to start again tomorrow, darling. I don't know. But how far back are you, Joan? Are you, Joan? Amber, find out how far back Joan is, please. I will. Amber's now off doing one of her surface design things. I don't know. She's definitely not doing blossoms. Abstract blossoms. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm just putting a few branches in here at the front. I'm doing it in black. I'm going to go in with lighter brown in a minute, and then we're going to highlight it right at the end. So I'm just putting a little bit of black in just so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to have that tree being quite a big tree like that there. So I'm just playing around with it. Trees can be anywhere. You can do anything with them you want. So do feel free. Oh, I'm not going to have a tree. I'm going to keep that as my thing. So you're just having some branches coming through the blossoms there. Yeah. Best to do them now. Um, rather than before. It just works better now. And I'm doing them in black. I'm going to put some brown on in a minute. I just want to do the darker shade first of the branch. So just wherever you think. I'm going to build that tree up a bit more. I want a bit more going on there because you would see more of that one, I think. What do you think, guys? Yeah, that one's the big tree, isn't it? And then I'm going to put a bit more black on this one. And then I'm going to have some big branches coming from here. I'm going to wet my brush. I'm sticking with the black. I am going to put brown oh, on Oh, we've here. got someone asking again how you get to, how you get brown. Um, if they don't have, you know, if you don't Make have orange. And then put a little bit of black in. So make orange first, which is yellow and red and then put a little bit of black in. So you don't want too many branches, but just a few here and there. We need some more in the middle, do you think, maybe? Perhaps. Maybe a hint, like a hint, like a suggestion of branches. I think they'd be thinner than that. Yeah, that's enough, guys. You don't want too many. This is a lovely painting to go on a wall, isn't it, this? Oh, yes. You can have it on your bedroom wall, along with all those funny posters you've got up there. Me? Funny posters. Oh, a phone froze. Could you explain how to make brown again? <laughs> it's yellow and red which makes orange, and then you put a little bit of black in. Tiny touch of black. And if it's not dark enough, a little more until you get the colour you want. And then if it goes too dark... A bit more So you want the branches to be super thin. Yes, as they go, as they go higher up. They kind of thicker at the bottom. They kind of resemble veins almost, don't they? Resemble veins. Do you know what I mean? Like sort of veins in your body. Yeah. No, I don't think veins have branches, do they? I don't know. In my head, they do. Oh, well, I'm, not a, I'm not a scientist. Them. I 
Um, if everyone's sort of finished around that part with the branches, put a little thumbs up in. Some thumbs up coming in so people okay are we're nearly ready to go guys okay we're going to put a little bit of brown so yellow red and i'm just going to slide that up the middle of my trees and down the front like that I'm just making them more into the sort of shape I want them to be now. And I'm having the light hitting them on the left of the tree as you look at it. Probably the right of the tree if you're a tree. Do a little close up of this just because it's hard to distinguish, I think, the colours, isn't it? So, let's see. So, so, you go in with that the brown, lighter brown, then. yeah. I'm going to go in with yellow in a minute just for the highlights on the tree, but I just want to get a little bit of brown on some of these branches. I should probably be using my really little brush, but I'm not. I actually am going to get my really little brush. And then what I want is I want these branches that we've painted in to dry before we do any more blossom work. So we're going to do a little bit of work on the path. adding those lighter bits to the trees does make a massive difference doesn't yes. it yes it just brings them to look, makes them look more shapely i think mm. and we're going to sort out the roots of the trees or the base of the trees in a minute with all different things going on i might have that one sloping in front there but yeah we're going to sort out the bottom of them in a minute so don't worry about the bottom of your trees guys at the minute I want the light on this side of the tree. Jamie isn't painting today, he didn't fancy this one. He will be doing the chick though, I think. Now, a lot of the kids got a little bit fed up towards the end of that, but I'm sort of trying to accommodate all different age groups so it's difficult so if you've got young children they get fed up you're not going to keep that concentration for as long as we're doing it here no, so yeah. do just let them stop don't force them to complete the paintings because they might end up hating painting forever and i don't want that i would hate that okay i'm getting a bit of dark brown i'm going to sort out the sides of the trees on this side where it's darker I'm just putting a little bit of black into the brown. And I want light there so that you know that's another tree. So you can tell that that's three trees now, guys, with the use of the light and the dark. Up there, we've sort of lost it a bit, but I don't care. Um, go in with a little bit of yellow if you want now. Actually, 
in there. We'll let that dry. Okay. Um, we've had someone ask how much you would normally charge for this in a bar. Um, twenty-five pounds per person, but that's everything included: paint, personal tuition. I do try and run round and see everyone. Um. It's a fun night out. And you all leave with a masterpiece. What's not to love? And the private parties are fab as well. When oh, you the get... private parties are great, yeah. I've done them in some fab houses. Really posh houses. Posh people like this sort of thing. Could you pass me a cloth? Thank you. Right, guys, we're going to mess on with our... Um... Our path. I'm going to put creepy music. Hold on. Yeah, can we have something a bit jolly? I'm going to put some of the dark blue with a little bit of the, the red, so I get like a purpley colour. And I'm just going to put some dabs of that purpley colour. It is really good fun in the bath. One of the things that I think is great about this painting, or any painting, is that you actually forget about everything. What you're concentrating on now is getting your blossom right. You're not thinking about all the rubbish that's going on in the world. You're just sort of messing with this, trying to get it right, thinking about this. It's very mindful. Now, and it's like that in the bars as well. When you go and do it in the bars, all you think about is getting your work right. You're not worried about any of the other rubbish that's going on at the minute. Um, and you've had people come alone, haven't you? And make yes. friends. And it's a really good atmosphere. Yes. It's great. A woman on her own can come out, come to the party, make friends, sit in a bar all night, have a few drinks, not get hit on by anyone, just have a laugh. And, you know, just relax. I'd go in any bar if I was meeting someone, but I wouldn't go in a bar on my own to sit all night. But in this way, you can, you know, you can go have a laugh. And local bars, I tend to do it in, or little wine bars. Local bars are wine bars where, um, you know, you might know all the, you might know some people, you might be a local in it yourself. So I've got some blue, some purpley, just little dabs here and there, guys. We're doing a little bit of zoom in. Now I'm going to have to make a little bit more green, so I'm going to get some of my yellow. A little bit of my blue. I'm going to make a dark green, I want a dark green for the front of the trees. And I'm just going to splodge this on, like that, going right out. Actually, I'm going to go with my middle brush. So I've got this dark green, I'm going to splodge it out, going into the path, like that. I'm going um, to put... Someone's asked what shade on the purple. Um, it was just blue and red. Do you want me to hang on a bit? Am I zooming ahead again? Yeah, maybe let people mix up their colours. Sarah Johnson says, absolutely lovely idea, and I'm sure the customers in our pub will love this after lockdown. Oh, yes, Sarah. Now, Sarah got in touch with me today. She actually wanted, I'm sorry I didn't get to you today, Sarah, to deliver it. We just sort of ran out of time. Um, but I will get it to you uh, by hook or by crook. Um, and Sarah's got a pub in Annick, and I've actually been trying to find somewhere in Annick to do it because I think it would you know we haven't got anywhere up that far yet with Felton but not actually as far as Annick so that would be great I'm really looking forward to that and a whole new crowd right what I'm doing at the minute is I'm just sticking some darker green 
around the roots of the trees. I'm going to put quite a lot around this one. Sloping out onto the... Uh, onto the path. Just around the tree, just to make them, you know, look like they're, they're growing and not sprouting. I'm just putting a bit of green in and I'm actually going in on top of the green when it's wet with a bit of the blue to really darken it down. Doesn't matter if it keeps, stays blue, it will bring it in a, a little I'll bring this camera in a little bit just so we get a And I'm using a sort of jabby little. motion. I'm not doing a I'll turn that flat. I'm not doing um a, I'm not painting it in brush strokes, I'm sort of just jabbing a bit. I'm going up into the green behind, here and there, just to make it look a bit sort of like, a bit bushy. I like a bush. Looks fab. It's coming, isn't it? We're nearly there. So keep going with the darker green all around onto your out onto your uh, path. Uh, just a little more light on the situation. What we're going to do with tomorrow with the light and the we're going to be in just trouble. Same thing now. We're going to we can cover the windows with some kind of a blanket. Okay. I think we might be better over on that wall and then the light would be oh, yeah. behind us. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think instead of doing it in front of the window, we should do it on the other wall. Gonna mean moving all our furniture around. Right, let's have a look at that. I need to get a bit of distance, guys. You always need to get a bit of distance from your work. Have a look. Yes, that's looking better. It looks a bit more like they're growing, doesn't it? And the lighter green behind looks like it's where the light's hitting it. So I think that's working quite well. Do you want to see our animals? <laughs> Shall we show them our animals? Mm -hmm. Show them our animals. They were rowing earlier, but they're friends now. <sighs> A little bit of an animal interlude, always yes. good. So yes, I think that light's working quite well there. Can you see? I've gone up with the darker green. I'll go over and show you. Can we bring the, the camera over? Because I, mm -hmm. I think that light might be a bit too strong now. Can we take it back a bit? Yeah. This one, back a bit. Back, back, back. No. Let's have a look. Ah, is that better? Try the other one as well. It's not good, is it? Try moving it back a bit so that it's... Is that better with that light mm -hmm. on? And try moving that light back a bit. Is that better or not, Amber? You can... Yeah. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So you can see we've got the darker green here, we've got the lighter green that we, we did earlier, just sort of peeping through the darker green. We've come out actually onto the, the path with the darker green where it's the moss or whatever it is is growing onto it. I've actually gone in there with a bit of blue to give it a, a more depth. Um, yeah, I think that's about... Yeah. Pinky leaves. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got more blossoms to put on and pink to put on the path and some other bits. So, how is it all feeling, guys? How we, are we nearly there? Are there any thumbs coming up, Amber? Oh, it's not yet. I just wait for some thumbs and then we'll, we'll plow on. I do like this painting. Oh, I'm seeing some thumbs. Oh, hurrah. Okay. How's everyone doing for food? 
know what we're having for dinner tonight. I think it might have to be um, halloumi. Oh, we've got halloumi. Yeah. yeah. I could make a bit of a pasta thing. Quite fancy pasta. Okay, we all ready to go? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get some white. I'm getting white on my sponge and I'm sort of dunking it into where my pink was. So I'm getting a really light pink, almost sort of white. And I'm gonna splodge it in here. I'm gonna keep them quite far apart. I've got a bit of blue in there as well. I'll go over that in a minute. That might have been on the sponge. I'm going to have some down here. Gemma said, remember the 8 pm NHS clap. Oh! Yes. But no, where we live, you know, we can't hear anyone, but we will, we will do it. What time is it now, guys? It is 25 to 7. Oh, we'll be finished by then, Gemma. Oh, I just, I just want me to remind everyone to do it. Yeah, yes, I'm just splodging a little bit of white on here and there where I want to accent this. Ben Gamma said, we're coming if you're having halloumi. <laughs> Maybe that'll be one of the others. Did you think? Did you think said that? Probably. 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 Did they all use that? You've knocked us off and probably Do just you... shown my face there. Do you... Which I try to avoid. Does everyone use Ben's phone? Do we think? Yeah. Ben's a friend of ours. Yeah. Oh, Ben's got the phone. Yeah. And he's got... Lots of children, and I think they might use his phone because we get lots of. Yeah, they're painting. Are they painting? Yeah, they're painting tonight. Yeah. I hope so. I don't think they've missed one yet. I by the end of this, by the end of this quarantine, everyone will have a collection of, like, an art gallery in their own house, won't they? Of paintings. I hope so. I'm going to come after all of this and check out all the paintings in the house, in the Gamma household. Right, is that looking a bit more sort of blossomy? See, so just stick them on anywhere, guys. There's no right or wrong with this. Just blossom and it can be anywhere. too much white in one place little bits here and there sort of works quite well i'm gonna have quite a lot there to cover up the blue i put on and i'm going to cover up some of the bigger branches and places like that your canvas has gone on a bit of a tilt has it yeah this has gone a bit just because we can't see it that well up from our oh, right. this camera Is that better? Yeah. Is that better? Yes, perfect. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit up there. Bits of blue showing through. Right, cool. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, Careful. I'm all on top of everything. Okay, guys, oh. thumbs up when you're ready because we're going to do, quickly do the last few bits. Just move this. There we go. Much better. We'll invest in a tripod. Yes, that would be good. Get a few more donations and we will. <laughs> right, is everyone ready, do we think? How's it looking, Amber? A couple of straight, yeah, a few thumbs yeah. up. 
Okay. Uh, but hold on. Should we say put a little sad face if you're not ready, and then we can see who's sort of maybe behind. How we doing? I've not seen any any sad faces. Yeah, I can't go. Yeah. Okay. I want you to get some of the pink of your blossom, not the white, but some of the pink. So you want some red and some white. I'm going to put some little red pink bits on here where the blossoms dropped onto the path. I think the purple sort of dead blossom. I don't know. Anyway, never mind. We'll put little bits on the green as well. So just a few bits here and there. Then some bits of white, not too much. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. And then I want some yellow and hopefully this will work on the trees now. And we're just going to come down where the light's hitting them. Oh, wait there and then let people catch up Oh yes, with sorry, this. sorry, sorry. We're getting too excited again. <sighs> let people catch up with the, uh, the blossoms on the floor. Can't stop Amber. <laughs> That's a bit of a knobbly old tree, that was. I'm just testing ways to show the colour on the trees. That's the thing. That might be too bright. There. Okay, what we're doing here then, let me come over. I'm putting oh, some little bits of yellow just on this side of the tree, just where the light... The left? Yeah. Or if you're a tree, the right. <laughs> just here and there. What are we going to watch on the telly tonight, Amber? Who knew? Who knows? It's all gone a bit funny with the TV, hasn't it? I don't know whether what I... What day is it? I don't, know, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. It's, I don't even know what day it is. It's, it's Saturday. No, no, it's Thursday. Because oh. we're doing this. We know what day it is because we're doing this. So doing this helps differentiate the trees. Can you see? We've got darker on that side and we've got lighter... I'm going to put little bits on some of the branches, not all of them. That's nice. It just adds a bit more like realism to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, going up here now. That strange scrunching noise you can hear is my daughter eating chocolate hobnobs. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. So that'll just make this tree look in front of that tree, if you could. And I'm making it a bit knobbly. I like a knobbly tree. And I'm going to make this one a bit lighter. And a wee bit knobbly, so... <laughs> I've got a bit too much on there, so I'm just going to leave that for now and then go back and take <clears> some off in a minute. 
little bits just of where the light is hitting your trees and all of them. Oh, well, actually, you don't have to do all of them, they can only be hidden some. And I'm going to do the light hitting that one sort of there instead of. Up of my ear there. Sorry guys, can't be very pleasant. I'm not happy with that tree, I'm going to just splodge it a bit till I'm... Yeah, just play around with them till you get them looking the way you want. I can't actually see this one very well. I'm going to come back here and have a look from a distance. I might put a little bit of light on some of the branches. Just the bigger ones. So it's just little bits of yellow here and there, just on the thicker branches. Just to make them have more shape. I wish I had a bit of brown. I'll have to make some more. I will. Right. <laughs> now I've gone too big there, so that's all right. I'm going to cover that with a bit of blossom. Anyway. Okay, there we go. I think that's just about nearly it. Let me get a distance from it. Always remember to stand back from your paintings, get some distance. Because that's how they're going to be viewed anyway, when they're on the wall. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the blossom and the branches and the trees. Right, I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do is a little bit of light. And I'm going to, I'm going to stop. So. I'm going to get a wee bit of white. I'm just going to put it along here like that. <laughs> oh, so what are you adding there? It's a little bit of light where the light's hitting it. So it's like there's like the empty path on that end. Yeah, does it look like that? Does it look like it's disappearing up there? Yeah. Let's have a look from a distance. Maybe, yeah, I'm blend that a little bit. I might be a bit too thick. Looks lovely though. I'm going to put my ear in front of the camera, don't I really? Here. Yeah. I want a bit of darker green, is it? Mm. No. Is there any that's still wet? It's all dried. Yeah. This is the problem with acrylic paint. It dries quickly, which is a good thing, but not so good when you're wanting a bit of the colour that you mixed earlier. I'll just... It's interesting that you come from those trees at the beginning to, to this finished product, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, you know, at the beginning it was all, you know, it always looks a bit ropey, doesn't it? Oh, thank you. I, no, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean that, you oh, know... that's nice. Thank you. You know what I mean? The trees don't look like trees and then now they're like, you know, I mean, it's just art. Yeah, no, I know. You know what I mean. It just all comes together, doesn't it? It does all come together right at the end. Um, I think that's just about it, guys. Oh, I know, I might put a little bit more white on the top. Do you think we 
should take it outside. To... Would that be better, do you think? What's the light like? No. Mm. Is that worse? It's too dark. Isn't it? Too yeah. dark. Yeah, I think that's fine. We can see. I'll tell you what we might do. Set it up out there. I'm going to sign it. I've finished. Bad. That can't be nice, that. Where's my little brush? Is there a little, tiny little this brush one. over there? No, I want a little one. Really little one, there is one. Brilliant. That'll do. What are you doing now? Just gonna sign it. Where am I gonna sign it? Yeah. I don't like that signature. I need a little of a brush. This one's not really tiny. No. Well, that's sad. Anyway, guys, you all need to sign them with your little brush. Um. Oh, I hate this music, guys. What's occurring? <laughs> Sorry, it. Don't know. It's free, isn't it? Okay, there you go. I'm going to take it outside so you can see it in better light. If you bring the camera, that would be really handy. And let's stop now. We'll put a post on uh, as normal afterwards, and you can all comment in your pictures and show them off a little bit. Perhaps we should do it outside. Mum, we can't go too far away for the Wi-Fi. Right. Much better in daylight. guys we're all finished now i shall see you next time remember if you want to donate something any little will do two pounds three pounds fabulous um there's a, a link to it amber I, I don't know i'm not really sure about it all but anyway thank you very much hope you enjoyed it and we're doing a naked man tomorrow night and we're drinking wine always fun and on uh next week we're doing two easter paintings we're doing a chick in an egg parent and child on Tuesday and on Thursday we are doing the hippie happy hair okay guys see you then hopefully bye